again. I hope you are enjoying the good company at the table. It's an exciting time for all of us research advocates as we work to translate the momentum of amazing accomplishments in 2015 and turn that into a lasting movement that puts research to work to forever change the way we treat and prevent disease. Before we pay tribute to two more outstanding advocates, I want to thank the sponsors of tonight's event. A special thank you to our dinner host, Janssen Pharmaceutical Companies of Johnson & Johnson. Truly, you make this evening possible. And many thanks to our presenting partner, Lily. Also, warm appreciation to our program partners, Aetna, the American Medical Association, Amgen, Merck, Pfizer, Pharma, and Sanofi. To our patron sponsors, CQ Roll Call, and our contributors, Novartis Oncology, Partners Healthcare, and Us Against Alzheimer's Network. And we extend deep gratitude to the generous benefactors who support this evening's celebration with multi-year support for awards that we present. The Gordon and Laura Gunn Foundation, the Rosenfeld Hart Foundation, Dr. Raymond R. and Beverly Sackler, the Whitehead Charitable Foundation and the Whitehead Institute, and the Jeffrey Bean Foundation. You will find recognition of all of tonight's supporters on the screens this evening, on signage, in your program, and on our website. Please know how much we value your support and partnership. We sincerely thank you. We are fortunate to welcome many distinguished guests this evening. We're pleased to have Senator Dick Durbin with us and Senator Amy Klobuchar and Representative Nita Lowy was here at the reception, I believe. We also welcome Congressman Alan Grayson, Congressman Bill Foster, and Congressman Don Beyer. And we are joined by several former members of Congress, John Porter, Governor Mike Castle, Kweze Fume, all three of whom are members of the board of Research America, and Dennis Moore, and former Majority Leader Dick Gebhardt. We are pleased to welcome the 13th Secretary of the Smithsonian Institution, Dr. David Skorton, and Barbara Barrett, former U.S. Ambassador to Finland, and former Secretary of Agriculture, Dan Glickman, and we welcome Dr. Francis Collins, the director of the National Institutes of Health, whose, whose, congressional, whose congressional testimony this morning gave us an uplifting glimpse of the future, thanks to research. We are honored to also have with us former NIH directors, Dr. Elias Sirhuni and Dr. Harold Barmas, of course, who just received our Legacy Award. And it's an honor to see many wonderful leaders with us this evening, including Dr. Rob Califf, the Commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration, Dr. Franz Cordova, the Director of the National Science Foundation, Dr. Joe Selby, the Executive Director of PICORI, the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, Dr. Carolyn Clancy, the Assistant Deputy Undersecretary for Health, Quality, Safety, and Value of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. And we welcome and thank Dr. Tony Fauci, the Director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, always on the forefront of challenges, most recently the Zika virus. Thank you, Tony. And I extend a warm greeting to the many directors of NIH centers and institutes who made time to join us this evening. We welcome senior officials from the OSTP, CMS, and staff of many congressional offices. It's important to us that you made time to be here. We have a special guest, Miss USA, Olivia Jordan. She's a strong advocate for medical research, particularly in the fight against ovarian cancer. 
There are a number of past winners of Research America's Advocacy Awards in our company tonight. Thank you for joining us and for all you are doing in your way as an advocate and as a leader for research. And I salute all of our distinguished honorary chairs, all of whom are listed in your program and many here with us. And I want to thank the Research America Board of Directors for your leadership and support and friendship. And I commend my Research America staff colleagues for all of your outstanding work and partnership. Thank you.